Good afternoon, this is Mac Lacey. I'm in New Orleans at the Travel South International Showcase, and I'm speaking with Liz Bittner, who is the CEO of Travel South, and certainly uh, the driving force behind this show. Uh, I had an interesting conversation at lunch with a, uh, an international operator from Hong Kong, which, as you know, politically is, is, is tied to China. Right. And as soon as they were showing the uh, Rhythms of the South uh, AV and it came up on, I think it was the Civil Rights Center in Atlanta, right. I think that came up. The new human and he, he caught on that, obviously because of the, the, the civil rights issues that they deal with in China. Mm -hmm. He wanted to know what city that was, what other cities in the South had civil rights institutes. So I ticked off a few for him and he, he was, actually just short of taking notes very wow, very great. interested in so it can be a tiny thing like that correct. that can really grab the interest of a particular culture correct you you mentioned the the fact that this is not just a, a trade show and it's just a, not just a matter of having people in the south for a few days and then they all go home and everybody goes back to their to their lives right you all have really created a comprehensive year-round marketing program between the sales blitzes you're doing and the the trade shows overseas you're doing so i mean it, it really is a, a pretty comprehensive program now and it's very research driven i mean it's not um just where we want to internationally travel or right. where we or what countries we want to host. I mean, we really look at, you know, where we can make the biggest bang for our buck, where, you know, there are consumers and then therefore trade partners that, that can be successful and that want to come and visit. Um, you know, what um, countries um, have good routes. Um, so, you know, we have some great partnerships with some um, airlines as well. Obviously, Delta Airlines, the hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, but, you know, we did a, a great sales mission last uh, earlier this year in the summer with Qantas because they have two uh, flights daily that now that are coming into DFW. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, if you're in Dallas, you're just a hop, skip, and a jump sure. over, you know, over a, a state line to come to Louisiana and then travel throughout the rest of the South. So, yeah. All right. And let's wrap with this. Mm -hmm. uh, you are recognized uh, by Brand USA and others for really being uh, the, the region in, of the country that, that really stepped up and went to work with Brand USA. So what are one or two of the things with Brand USA that are, you're currently into that people should be watching for? Okay. Um, yeah, early on we said we're gonna lean in with Brand USA um, and we're gonna put our pennies together and, and see if we can make a difference um, and support the Brand USA concept. Um, so I would say the two things that were probably um, about not 80, 90 percent there it is this, are the states and the CVBs heavily invested in what they're calling native content, which is um, a German standing on the streets in downtown Savannah talking to their public about how cool it would be to be in Savannah um, in German. Yeah. And this is all on video. And right. so we'll have 165, 175 of these uh, native content packages done within the next three months or so. And so um, the airwaves will be full of lots of international language um, content talking about the South. So that's probably the one that I'm uh, most excited about because it has a far reaching. And then the other thing is, is that we've added some international sales offices that we are going to help us on a year round basis with both PR, a little bit of trade, um, and um, you know, perhaps a little bit of social media and, um, and reaching out to the consumer. And that those are Australia, Brazil. Um, we just did a big program in the UK about a month ago. Um, France and Italy, okay. um, because those are um, sort of our core markets. Okay, well, it's been fascinating to watch. Uh, okay. You all are, have, have obviously taken a very proactive uh, position with the international market, and uh, best of luck with it. Well, thank you. Thanks for this interview.